Okay, geometers, we have a little um, challenging problem here, more challenging, not necessarily the most challenging, but more challenging than the run-of-the-mill circle problem, <clears throat> because it has several different things that we need to use, different thoughts we need to explore in order to get the right solution. Several may be overstating it, but it's got a couple of things we need to look at. Okay, so first thing I'm going to notice is one of the things that's given to me is an angle measure, so I'm going to mark that on there. And then I'm going to look at what else I'm given, and I might as well put it on there. Let's see if I can. Let's see, this is 40, and this is 2 times the quantity, 5x plus 8, and this is 3x plus 2. The only reason this is in parentheses, by the way, is just because it's saying this degree symbol applies to the whole thing. So I'm being asked to find from Q to T. I know it's this direction because if I were to go the other direction, I would be going more than halfway around the circle. And so that therefore, I'd have to name it as a major arc and use more than two letters. So the fact that only two letters is used are used to um, name this arc means the smaller arc that starts with Q and ends with T, or starts with T and ends with Q. The smaller piece of the circle that has Q and T as their endpoints. Okay, so a couple of hints to get you started. Hint one, Okay, I just decided I have a huge pause in there because I was debating whether or not I wanted to start over. I'm not going to start over because I noticed I put the angle in the wrong place. But it's not worth it to me to go back. I've already written on this figure, and I'm just going to keep going. Here's the angle, RSQ. So I hope you enjoyed the commercial interlude of the long pause. But that's what we actually have. So first thing I want to give you as a hint is that you should know something about triangle SQR. So you can pause the video and see what you can do with that. You might be able to solve it with that hint. Okay, let's say you couldn't solve it with that hint. Um, next thing I would point out is that this is an inscribed angle, and that tells you something about the arc it intercepts. I can use this angle to figure something out about arc QR. If you haven't paused it, you might want to pause it, try, see what that gets you. You really actually don't have to use right triangles on this one, but you can. So you can either say this times 2 gives me arc QR, or I could have said, I could have gone the other way, I could have said this arc divided by 2 gives me this angle, the one where the scribbly is, angle QRS. And honestly, I probably would do it this way just because this is a, this 2 that's out front, if I divide this whole thing by 2, it just goes away. Okay, so this is just 5x plus 8. And then remember the hint about what kind of triangle that is? It's a right triangle. Anytime you have a triangle inscribed in a semicircle, meaning one side of the triangle is a diameter of the circle. It's automatically a right triangle. Okay, last hint. You should know something about the two acute angles of a right triangle. Pause here if you want to work it yourself. And resuming, the two, angles of a, the two acute angles of a right triangle always add up to 90 because you've already got 90 degrees used up here. If a triangle has to, all of them has to add up to 180, then these two have to be the other 90. 90 from 180 leaves me 90 for these two. So the two acute angles of every right triangle will always have a sum of 90. So 3x plus 5x is 8x, 2 plus 8 is 10, 8x is 80, 
so x is 10. Am I done? No, that's not what I was asked to find. I was asked to find the measure of arc QT. So I'm going to go back in here and plug in 10, which tells me that this angle, 3 times 10 is 30, plus 2, this angle, QSR, or RSQ, is 32 degrees. Which means this arc, QR, is twice that. 64 degrees. Well, we already know that this arc is 40 because this is a central angle. Angle RPT is a central angle. Make sure that you pay attention to where your vertex is. We get so used to doing vertices or angles with a vertex that are on the circle that we tend to forget that when it's at the center of the circle, the measure of the angle, this is a central angle, so the measure of the angle is the same as the measure of the arc. So finally, we're ready. I now know that arc QT is 64 degrees plus 40 degrees, which is 104 degrees. Sorry for the super long pause. Hope you used it to meditate or something. <laughs>